Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a follow-up video on how to make sure your dishwasher is working correctly. So if you're doing your dishes and the dishes are not coming out clean, here's a couple things you can do. So in my previous video, I explained how you can clean out these filters like this one right here. And I'll leave a link down in the description to that video, but for this one right here, here's what I wanna talk about. So some of the gunk gets into this little piece right here. Here's the problem with that. Look how small these holes are that squirt out the water. And if they're squirting out the water and they get plugged up, which can happen pretty easily, then obviously your dishes are not getting cleaned correctly. So what can we do? Well, this one right here has these little pieces. See this little triangle sticking out here? And it has those that we can just kind of turn. So if we just do a little quarter turn, it pops right off. And then we're gonna clean this up a little. We can already see a little bit of gunk here. When I turn it over, see that? Look at that stuff in there. Obviously no water, or at least not much is gonna get out of there. So this one's clogged up. This one's clogged up. This one right here looks like it's clogged up. This one looks like it's clogged up. So I'm gonna use my little poker tool here and I'll put a link to these down in the description if you wanna get something like this. We'll clean these up. We'll try to run some water, some hot water. I'm gonna try to push some water down in through these and see if we can get some of this gunk to come up through this hole here. So here we go. Oh, look at that. Even on the back side of this, I have some gunk in here. And we do need these sprayers on the back side to be open because what they do is they actually cause this to push in the right direction. So this is going to push water down in this direction, causing this to spin in this direction. Okay, using my poker, I was able to pretty easily kind of poke this stuff back into these holes. Now, it's still inside these lines here. So now what we're going to do is run some water, and we're going to try to get it to go into those holes, try to run some water into those holes, and what we're hoping to do is flush it out through the bottom of here. Next, I'm gonna run some water into this hole right here and just see if we can flush it a little bit. So we're gonna try to fill it out, turn it upside down, dump it out, back and forth. The other thing we can do is run a little bit of water in here and we can make sure that it's coming out these holes. So we can kind of watch the different holes, make sure that they are unplugged and that we have water coming out of them. Let's see if we can get it out of these. There you go. So that looks like we're nice, clear and open and I'll test each one of these. All right, let's put this back together and I'm just kind of showing you that bottom piece and what it looks like, right? So we'll put it in like so. Goes right on there. That looks pretty good. We're all set to go. Now I see a little bit of more nonsense down here. So I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit more. But now we've got the holes all cleaned up here. Again, double check your filter. Make sure this filter right here is cleaned up and look down in the description down below. I'll also put a link at the end of this video so you can see that. You do those two things, cleaning out all these holes, making sure your filters are clean, your dishwasher should go back to working like it did when you first bought it. All right, friends, hey, I hope you liked this video. If you want some more tips on appliances like this one right here, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.